So yesterday was a very lazy day. If my days in Madrid were lazy, yesterday was even lazier. I ended up waking up at like 12 and then I got up at 3 in the afternoon. Right now I barely woke up and just making myself a quick breakfast. So I decided to make my host some hash browns because he's never tried them before. I'm gonna just take a quick shower and then get ready for the day. Finally out of the house, I am going to go to the beach, straight to the beach, chill out there for a while. I'm gonna try to get a tan. From there, I'm going to Parque Huel. I already got my ticket, it costs seven euros. Long day, long day. It'll be a long day. It's a really nice day out where I'm staying. It's called Sant Andreu. This is where I'm staying for now until tonight. My host is going to do me the favor, the great, great favor of taking me to the airport. I have to be there at 3.30 in the morning, so yeah. Barceloneta. I just really want to go to the beach, hang out there for a while. There are a buttload of boats. It's really nice. There are palm trees everywhere. The sun is very bright. Very, very windy day. find anything here but like at obviously ridiculously cheap prices. Scarves, keychains, sunglasses, purses, tennis shoes. I got a keychain for one euro. Anyway, I'm gonna lay down for a while. Unfortunately, so it looks like I'm gonna have to choose between going to either the Mercado or Sagrada Familia I don't think I'm gonna have time to go to both afterwards. I have my ticket already to go to Parque Güell. I just decided to stay a little longer at the beach hanging out all in all It's been a good time here in Barcelona a couple of days is not really enough to see everything But yeah, I was able to relax 
to enjoy my vacation. Guess where I am? La Boqueria. So I decided that food was my priority today. Sagrada Familia can wait. So I'm gonna go get some grub. I guess nobody comes here alone, so they didn't really have any spaces, but I'm going to enjoy this dish. I got some octopus. It looks really good. And I got a sangria, so yeah, my favorite drink ever. Yeah, I'm gonna eat now. Bye. I just finished eating. I'm on my way to the park right now. I hope to get there on time because it's already 8.40 and I have to be there before 9. The food was delicious and it was super fun because whenever you're alone, like other people talk to you, right? There was like a French couple right next to me. We exchanged contact information. They're from uh, very, very close to Lyon, which is where I'm going to go next month. Yeah, that's really cool to make connections like that just because, you know, you're sitting by yourself. You get to talk with the waiters. They were all bugging me because I sat at the very corner. So they, they got me a sangria on the house. I'm, I'm really happy. It was a really fun experience. Let's hurry, hurry to the park. Wait. I'm all sweaty. To get here, it's all uphill. They have an escalator to help, I guess. It doesn't really help that much. Very tiring. It's like at the very, very top of Barcelona. So you can see everything, like from a bird's eye view. The seven euro access is to like the monumental area. They call it Zona Monumental. Starting 9.30 p.m. The entrance is free to everyone, but the sun has already set at that time, so that's why it's free because you can't really see that much. So yeah, I'm just gonna stroll around here, try to stop sweating. I'll see you later, bye! Okay, so I haven't really moved from where I originally came in through because I was talking to a student of mine that lives here. She says that she wants to meet up at 10.30, so I'm just gonna have like 10 minutes to walk around and then go meet her. Yeah, we've been planning this since I planned my trip to Spain, so I have to see her. It's nice to have finally arrived here, but I wish I wouldn't have paid for the ticket to get in because I'm not really gonna be able to see anything. From what I, I can see, it's absolutely incredible and I'm just gonna take some quick pictures and then run out of here to go to Metro España where my train leaves to go back home so we're gonna meet there Right now, <laughs> I just 
finished seeing my student. I'm running to the train because the last train leaves at 12 on the dot. So I have to be there before then or else I have to take like a night bus and I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I'm so happy. Wow, it's the first like student of mine that I meet in person. It's amazing. I am ecstatic right now. We were able to talk about a lot of things and I told her about my whole trip, about my plans, about you know what I'm gonna be doing. Right now, I need to take a shower desperately, desperately need to take a shower and I need to pack the rest of my things. I have my whole life in a suitcase, my backpack in a suitcase. But yeah, uh, I'm heading home and I'll talk to you later.